Hey everyone, this is Etho. Uh, we're just hanging out at my uh, original base here. I've been working at laying the TNT charges for the destruction of the island, like we planned. I got all the tunnels dug now, and I was laying charges. Uh, but it turns out that I did not have enough TNT, so that's why I'm over here. I've just been working on stuff around this base. Uh, mostly just collecting resources at the moment. Uh, I've been working on getting colored wool and stuff. And every now and then I just come over here and pick up whatever gunpowder there is so that we can make some more TNT. Because at the moment I am out pretty much. So in order to blow up that island we need a lot more TNT. I've placed about 400 so far. And in total, I expect I'll need to place at least a thousand to blow up that island. I actually did a, a test explosion and it turned out really nice. It's actually very cool. I think you guys are going to like uh, the thing when it's all set up. It's going to be a very cool explosion, but I don't know how long it's going to take before we can do that. Because... Getting gunpowder is taking quite a while, it turns out. I've been collecting different dyes and wools. I've been harvesting trees and stuff. And I still have only made about one stack of TNT since I got here. and It's going to take a while. So, uh, maybe we'll work on a project around here today. Hmm. Well, I know one simple project I wanted to do is replace this black wool block with an actual coal block. So this is what I have here, coal. And now that we have pistons, we can actually do that. So maybe try to find a coal block somewhere around here and move it over. There's some. So this might take a little while, but we'll uh, see what, how this goes. Got sticky piston. Stick it there. That won't work. Stick it there. Aha! Moved it one block. Um. Let's move it one more. Get it out in the open. And then we want it three up, I know. So one, two, three, four, five. Ooh. Ouch. Oh, too far. I should really be using a regular piston for this. Uh, where's my levers? Okay, moved it up one. And one more. Sweet. Okay. Now to get it that way. piston there, and I'm going to stick a block in. Inch it over that way. And you get the idea. So, ten hours later, I'll have it in place. <laughs> Five hours in, it's almost in place. Making record time here. Sweet. Just gotta move it two more blocks and it's and it's done. Greatest achievement ever. There we go. That took some skill. So we have coal where the coal is.
Sweet. Um, should be some more drops here. And we have... Oh, we actually got quite a bit from that. So, make another stack of TNT. Yeah, about four more, and then we can head back to the ice base. Uh, so I guess I need another project here. At least. Okay, so I thought of something else I can build while I wait for gunpowder to show up there. Which I'm getting quite a bit of now. Uh, this is an idea I've had a long time. I'm calling it uh, Quit Kit. It's a, something you're all probably familiar with. Uh, maybe you've been out exploring a cave far away from your base, deep underground. You come across a dungeon and you decide to take it on like a man. And you die. You lose all your precious items. You restart at your base, and you have five minutes to get them back. Now, a lot of the times when this happens to me, guess what? You spend, oh, I don't know, about two minutes or so remaking an axe, and uh, not an axe, a pick, shovels, getting a bow, arrows, food, you know, collecting all these items you need to get to take on the dungeon again so that you can get your stuff back. So, the idea with the quit kit is you press one button, all that stuff gets given to you pretty much instantly, get your stuff, and you go take down the dungeon without wasting all the time and losing your items because they despawn in five minutes. So, the quit kit, I decided to build it over here. And yeah, so I'm going to hollow this out. Try match it with uh, these other booths I have here. Hmm. I need a different spot apparently, so I'll be back in a sec when I find a new spot. Well, after looking around a bit, I realized something, that the Eats Road is just down here. Just over here, so it would be nice if I tied this little section to this section here somehow, make it look nice, and I could put my uh, quit kit somewhere around here too, that way. And, and maybe I'll raise this a bit, this section here. Brought some half slabs with me. And yes, I am so cheap that I won't just cover up the wood blocks. I need to get them back. There, nice gradual climb up. Um, hmm. Oops. Trying to make things look good is not my specialty, unfortunately, so this is going to be tough for me. question is, do I make this go slope down straight, or do I make it curved, or how should I do it? You guys are probably sick by all this jerky ca camera motion. Um, I guess there's pretty high roof here. I got lots of space to work with. Hmm. 
Mm. The other problem is this is wood here, and I'm using st sandstone there, so I need to kind of merge them together some way too, and choose. Hmm. I gotta figure out. Uh, I'll be back. I decided I'm gonna try have a gradual straight slope from here. Three wide. One, two, three. Matches up with this. And I'll probably have like railing on the side made out of fences. Half slab. And more sandstone. I don't know. Just see how it looks. And half slap. Hmm. So you got that. Wish I had sandstone stairs, that would be cool. And... I don't know, maybe I'll try wood planks and see how that looks. You guys are probably like, oh, don't do the wood planks, no! Worst combination ever. But I need some kind of transition to the wood planking, so if I have both, you know. Uh, I don't know. And of course, lighting is always a problem for me. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. I might change the wood planking, though. Let me know what you guys think. Should I use logs or something else? Maybe I'll try blend these in. Have a little transition here. That's not bad. Yeah, I can live with that for now anyway. Uh, if you guys got improvements, let me know. Ooh, another idea is to use glowstone where these wood planks are. For light. Possibly. Or just have glowstone chandeliers or something. I don't know. Okay, so we got some way of getting down here now. Um, I may put the quick kit thing over here. Since we have a big solid block to work with, I believe. And... Hmm. I'll clean this up more later. Yeah, so I'll probably I'll probably build the quit, quit kit here, and I may do it out of sandstone. I decide I'm going to try place it here after all, so I got it kind of marked out a little bit. It's going to be a wall here on the outside. It's going to be an opening here. This is where the items are going to be that I collect. Right where this torch is. And inside this area, doesn't really matter how you shape this, all it is is just going to be a bunch of dispensers down in here that are going to deliver the items to me. 
Uh, so you can shape it however you want and you can make it however big you want. But I'll probably have at least at least 20 to 30 dispensers. So I need a bit of space. The more space I have, the easier this is going to be to set up. And I can do fancier wiring too if I have more space. So let's see how to do this. So I need at least a one block space from the outside wall to run wire on and then I'll have dispensers here and here for sure and probably here 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 copy it on the other side like that and maybe like this see how this works so of course another issue is the water uh, actually I'm going to put a pressure plate down where the items are going to get delivered right here so that the water doesn't spill everywhere but if I place water here they're going to create still water so can't have that so we need to change this a bit might have to make it four wide Oop, still water get rid of the still water dead zone no good um oh it's raining I'll play around with this water stream a bit I might make it four or five wide we'll see or actually you know what I should do oh you know that a lot of people don't really think that timers for anything but it does actually help that tune because I know it's time to pick up my items then. And the whole reason I'm building around here today is just so I can get gunpowder. So it's important I listen for that timer. Um, yeah, so I'm going to work on this a bit off camera. And then we'll f try get some more done. Okay, so it was pretty pretty easy to fix. I just did the same thing on this side and now we have a perfect water stream that doesn't take up much space no dead zones of course I had to take a dispenser out but that's not really a problem because now I can use this space here so I don't really lose anything by doing that and same with over here Spencer. Okay. So how many do we have so far? There's going to be multiple layers probably. You got five, eleven down. So that's that's pretty good. Try to get at least twenty-two or something. So then there'll be wiring all the way around. Um doesn't matter that I'm using dirt here, you won't be able to uh, see this dirt. That is a problem. Put that there temporarily. Oh, that's going to be a problem too. Darn. Hmm. Might have to move that uh, five clock over here. Oof, like. Okay, well, anyway, it goes around. 
Uh, oh, I do have buttons. Good. And... So I might have a button here. Press it. Activates all the dispensers, assuming... I can connect this. The reason why I haven't changed this to repeaters yet, like a repeater 5 clock or whatever, is because they glitch out, so that's why I still like using the old school types of clocks. Yeah, I'll just do that for now. Okay, so that's one layer. Now to build it up. Play sandstone. Oh yeah, one thing I was going to mention. See this glass block here? For all my long-time viewers, that is the skylight I placed back in, I think, episode 1 or something. This little glass block which got covered up buried underground, and I came across it digging this out. And I destroyed it. So that was placed over six months ago. That glass block. Um, so we can go up a layer here. Probably use sandstone here. Run wiring up to a second le level. Some lag. And... Hmm. Oof, more lag. Can't remember, if you have a dispenser, a block on top... Oops. block on top and you power the block on top, does it activate the dispenser? I kind of think it does. Let's try it out. Oh, I gotta go get my items again. Yeah, okay. So I might use that method for powering the second layer. I went ahead and started working on the second layer here just because I'm going over time kind of with this episode, so I want to finish this up soon. Uh, decided to make a few changes here. I'm going to get rid of the, these edge dispensers. or corner dispensers, I guess. And I'm going to have water there. So there'll be water here, and here, like that. Actually, I should check the streams, make sure they are okay. Yep. So I'm going to take those out. And I'm going to have a piston thing here to shut off the water, so that when I have to restock these dispensers, uh, I won't have water pushing me around in here. And I'll have a lever out here to control the water to turn it on and off. Because with this quick kit thing, I'll basically be able to use it nine times. Because, like for individual items like pork chops, you can only put nine in. So once, once those nine are out, you need to restock it. So, it's going to be that. I'll wire these later. Go down one further. Sticky piston there and here. There'll be a block above. Um, it's pretty easy wiring these dispensers. Gonna have to have water all, or not water, redstone. Gonna have to have redstone all along the top here. You won't be able to see any of this wiring when it's done. This redstone will activate the second row here. 
Uh, these ones will get activated because the redstone's pointing at them. So that's good. And we'll also have some more dispensers along the top here. Maybe one here. It's going to be a glowstone in the center uh, in the ceiling to light this up a bit too. Like that. Um, you know, I think I can actually put some here too. I think they'll shoot the item into the block, but they'll fall the item will fall through the dispenser. Actually, I should probably try that. Put some cobble in there. Yeah, it fell through. I don't know if you saw that. Alright, cool. And maybe have two more at the top here. Like this. R run the wire a little bit further. Oops. Just gonna place a lever here. Make sure the current runs all the way. It does not. That's a problem. But nothing a repeater can't solve. I may put a repeater here. I think that would be safe. Alright, okay. So there'll be one more dispenser here. Then this will be covered somehow. Put these here for now. Something like this. There'll be glowstone above here for light and we can restock every single one of these because there are none are hidden behind blocks or anything and we'll have pistons just mark them here and here turn the water on and off okay so the idea is in some of these dispensers I'll have uh, food. I'll probably have one or two. Well, probably, probably three of these will be dedicated to the co cooked pork chops. I'll have one for a sword, one for a boat, um, one, one or two for picks, one or two for shovels. Uh, I'll need torches too, maybe. I'll have one for a bow for sure. And there'll probably be a chest out here too, because I won't be able to dispense arrows, for example, so I'll need to pick up stuff from chests too. So maybe I'll have a chest full of uh, arrows and torches, uh, stuff you need a lot of, because these will only dispense one at a time at this current setup. Or I may change the wiring so that maybe the top ones will dispense like 4, 8, or 16 of a certain block type. I don't know, we'll see. But uh, yeah, this episode's getting long, so I should really cut it here, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, thank you for watching, I'll finish this up some other time. And I believe I'm at five stacks of TNT now, so hopefully next episode we'll do, we'll see one of the coolest explosions ever in Minecraft. Because I blew up I think 200 TNT just to test out my uh, TNT chaining and it was very cool. So I'm very excited to see a thousand of them blowing up the entire island. That'll be cool. Well, I gotta go. Gotta get my items. So thank you for watching. Take care. Until next time. Okay, I forgot one last thing. I just want to quickly mention that I'm going to try try to put my world up for download again in the video description. Uh, the secret project is not done. I actually haven't worked on it in over a month now. 
just because I've been busy and I'm barely getting episodes out as it is, so I can't really do more than I'm doing right now. But soon I'll get to it again. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to delete the region that the secret project is in so that no one will see it. And if all goes well, you'll be able to download my world again, an updated version, in the video description. And if I can't figure it out, well, that's why. If I can't figure it out, it won't be in the video description. So uh, hopefully I can get it for you.